So my name is Oluwa Toyin Ashojo. Toyin, like stop toying with me without the G for short. I am the PI of the DPC data at Hampton University and it's HUCHEM. And our goal is to create a, a mentorship and education program to build and bridge and close gaps um, in the biomedical pipeline. And it's located at Hampton University in Hampton, Virginia. And that's my project. We have three interventions, three main interventions that we're working on. The first intervention is curriculum development and building, and it's HUCAM scale up, where we used flipped classrooms and evidence based methods to improve the learning of students of chemistry because we believe that chemistry um, evidence show that chemistry um, is a gatekeeper course towards success in the biomedical pipeline the second um, goal was to use research cures course based undergraduate research experiences to develop um, student competency in STEM and that way students can believe in themselves and become more competitive for future careers as biomedical scientists. Um, we chose to use cures because we can reach more students through course based undergraduate research experiences than individual um, research training within, within individual labs. And the final aim, our third aim, is HUCAM faculty development, where we train faculty to be effective um, um, leaders and effective bridge builders, where they no longer see chemistry and um, as a gatekeeper, but as a bridge to student success. So our goal with the faculty development piece was to enhance faculty competency so that they can see themselves as catalysts that enhance the success of students. I think our biggest impact um, uh, has been the development of student um, self-efficacy. Um, we were able to get students to generate a lot of um, publications as well as research um, outcomes where and so students could now, uh, now believe in themselves and see themselves as scientists. Another um, piece of the puzzle um, is the change in the mindset of people involved in the project where we have been able to develop unexpected collaborations and partnerships that have really enhanced the way we think about cures and how we really implement programs within our site. And that has been fantastic, like just seeing our students work together and our faculty enhance their curricula has been ex very, very exciting. I like bragging about my students. So um, I have students and when they first started, they were like thinking, oh, maybe I'll do a master's after I finish at Hampton. And having a student that believe that after they've participated in a lot of uh, um, interventions after, you know, at the end of this program, applying for and getting into very competitive PhD programs directly after the, the baccalaureate, it's very, very gratifying for me, you know, and that, that for me is what makes, makes, makes this so exciting, just seeing the outcomes when it comes to students. Like, I will take that over all the peer-reviewed papers that we get every year. Just that joy 
and that self-belief that you see in the students after they've participated in these programs and the fact that they now see themselves as scientists. And even with students that just participated in um, one year, non-majors as well, because chemistry um, classes are open to not just majors, but we're a service department, right? Seeing students believe that they can do these classes and that they are capable and that this is not something that 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 people like them don't do. Just seeing that for me, the, the, that's the that's the most exciting part just the joy in the students and knowing that we were, we played a, a little role in it that's exciting the most meaningful one of the most meaningful lessons i've learned is that despite covid <laughs> we can still pivot and achieve a lot of our goals um, you know, with the shutdown, we had to really change some of the things in terms of like we, our interventions were planned initially to be face to face. And for the first half, we had to do everything virtually. And that allowed us to develop additional new tools. And I think it just showed us how resilient we all were. And that for me was a huge lesson. And ironically, we were able to um, use those lessons to expand what we were planning to do and have a bigger impact in terms of the numbers of students that we could engage in, in some of the activities like the cures. I think the legacy that I hope is that more faculty will see themselves as catalysts um, for success of students rather than um, simply as um, the source or fountain of knowledge because um, that, is, that is my hope that we see ourselves as bridge big builders and catalysts that enhance um, the chances and the opportunities for the next generation of, of students. So I hope that the institutional transformation is sustained. Oh, wow. I love being a scientist because, okay, and I'm gonna tell you what I always tell my kids. I get paid to have fun and learn. That's why I love being a scientist, right? Every day is an opportunity to learn something and discover new things. And who doesn't enjoy getting paid to have fun, right? So that's why I love being a scientist. So the first thing I normally tell students is that I say, what problems do you love to solve? And what problems, what things do you love thinking about? And because um, research, being a research allow a researcher allows you to have the flexibility to interrogate problems from different angles and even to discover the tools required to interrogate and explore these problems. So if you are somebody that is interested in answering questions, or you're just curious about why, how, what things occur, being a researcher is what you should do. And so it's, it's not a matter of like, what are you going to study, right? Because you can be a researcher in so many ways, but if you love asking questions or answering questions, being a researcher is a perfect job for you. And you can get paid to learn and have fun. And so, if that doesn't sell it, I don't know what can. <laughs> so that's what I normally ask students, you know, do you like to solve problems or puzzles? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>